Hi, my name is Daniel Domavand and welcome to this ASP.NET Core 2.0 tutorial on building a simple web API. If you'd like to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter under at Dombavand. I also have a blog site, danieldombavand.com. You can find these links in the YouTube description below. In this tutorial, we'll briefly look at what ASP.NET Core 2.0 is and where it's come from. We will then jump into setting up and creating our first .NET Core Web API project. Once we have our project set up, we will then add a controller to our project. This controller will be a simple controller that will allow us to hit a ping endpoint. The ping endpoint will then return us a status code of 200 OK and return a string result of Pong. ASP.NET Core is a free and open source web framework. It is the next generation of ASP.NET that was developed by Microsoft and the community. ASP.NET Core is a redesign of ASP.NET 4.x, with architectural changes that result in a leaner, more module framework. ASP.NET Core allows you to write cross-platform code for cloud-optimized workloads. Basically, you are now not limited to running your .NET code on a Windows machine. You are now able to run your code on a Linux machine. If you'd like to know more about ASP.NET Core, then head along to the Microsoft page that is displayed on screen now. First, we need to create a new ASP.NET Core web application in Visual Studio. If we head along to File, New, Project, we can select the project that we want to create. In this case, we want to create an ASP.NET Core web application. We are now presented with a window that displays the different web application templates that we can use. Looking at the first two templates, the empty template is how it sounds. It doesn't contain any pre-developed content. Web API template contains an example controller for the RESTful HTTP service. The rest of the templates are out of scope for this tutorial, but you can get a brief explanation of what each template contains by clicking on them. For this example, we're going to be selecting the empty template. In our blank project, we have two class files, the program.cs and startup.cs. When the application is run, the entry point is the program.cs. That then calls off to the startup.cs file to load things like configuration and dependencies. Let's create a controller. I'm going to create a folder to hold my controller named controllers. Now I'm going to right click and select add and controller. We are presented with the scaffold templates. Here we'll be selecting the API controller empty. We'll name the controller ping. A quick side note. A ping endpoint is often used in production applications to allow someone or something outside of the application to hit an endpoint and if the application is alive, be a return to status code of 200. Once the controller has been created, we are presented with an empty controller template. At the top of the class, we have two default decorators, producers and route. For now, we're going to delete both of these. We'll be adding the route decorator directly above the ping method later. Let's start by creating our ping method. We want a method that has a return type of iActionResult with a method name of ping. We will then return OK with a string of pong, so that when we hit our endpoint, we will be returned a status code of 200 OK and the string pong. We want to add the route decorator to the ping method now. This will allow us to actually hit the endpoint. We're going to call it API-ping. We also want to add the verb HTTP GET as this method is a GET. Now we've created a simple controller with a GET method ping, we need to make a couple of changes to the startup.cs file. If we were to run this currently, the only thing that would be returned is hello world. So let's delete that and add the MVC services. First we add services.addMVC into the configure services method. This is the way our application says that we want to want the MVC services available to the system. Second, we add the app.useMVC in order to actually use it. Once we've added that, we are now going to save our application and build it. After building, we then run it. We should expect to see the word Pong when we hit our endpoint.
In this tutorial, we had a quick look at what ASP.NET Core is. ASP.NET Core is a free and open source web framework. It is the next generation of ASP.NET that was developed by Microsoft and the community. ASP.NET Core is a redesign of ASP.NET 4.x with architectural changes that result in a leaner, more module framework. ASP.NET Core allows you to write cross-platform code for cloud-optimized workloads. We then work through a demo to show how easy it is to get started creating a simple ASP.NET Core 2.0 Web API. Thanks so much for listening.